Welcome to Health Matters TV. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Do you want to lose more weight and build muscle? Then you are probably looking for healthy protein rich recipes that will help you lose weight. These type of recipes are popular among athletes because protein rich food helps you lose weight and build muscle. In this video, we will talk all about protein rich recipes so that you know exactly why this diet works so well when losing weight. Proteins are one of the three most important nutrients of humans. The other two important nutrients are carbohydrates and fats. You get proteins by eating animal products such as dairy, meat, and eggs. They are also found in vegetable products such as nuts and legumes. Our body consists of 20% protein. That is why they are also essential building materials for our bodies. They are important for your fat burning, metabolism, and hormonal balance. If you do not get enough protein, you may experience these following symptoms 1. Retention of fluid, or also known as edema. 2. Hair loss. 3. Fatigue. 4. Lose muscle mass. 5. Change in hormones, women are no longer having their period. 6. Hair color changes. Protein rich recipes have the benefits too. 1. Provide nutrients for your body. 2. You get less hunger feeling due to protein-rich food. 3. Protein-rich food prevents snacking and unhealthy eating in the evenings. 4. Proteins increase fat burning and metabolism. Proteins help you to keep on weight and lose weight in an easy way. That is why it has been so popular in recent years. Proteins suppress the constant feeling of hunger. Eating more protein is a great solution for people who always feel hungry. Several studies show that people eat less when they get a lot of protein. Eating a lot of protein ensures that you are full and that prevents the feeling of hunger. It also appears that after eating a protein-rich meal you get less hungry. The effect is greater than you initially think. Research shows that women ate 441 fewer calories per day due to a high-protein diet. The only thing the women had to do was increase the protein intake from 15% to 30%. Furthermore, the women were allowed to eat everything and there were no strict rules. The women significantly reduced calories by the number of proteins. Proteins are building materials. Proteins are one of the most important building materials. Proteins are an energy source for repairing and building up your body cells. Muscles are cells that benefit a lot from proteins. Muscles need enough proteins to grow and become stronger. Your muscle cells produce new proteins, which you also call muscle white synthesis. The amount of protein that you ingest every day in combination with the training damage of your muscles influences muscle white synthesis. If you damage the muscles during training, the body provides new muscle proteins. This causes the muscle fibers to grow. For this, you need enough protein. If you don't get enough protein, the muscle mass will decrease in the short term. In the long term, the effects are much more serious. Low protein intake causes a lack of muscle strength and low resistance. Enough proteins are also needed for your bones. Proteins prevent annoying problems such as osteoporosis and fractures. Proteins increase fat burning and metabolism. Everything you eat has to digest in your body, this costs your body a lot of energy. How much energy these costs depends entirely on the things you eat. Burning proteins costs your body more energy than the digestion of fats and carbohydrates. It costs your body four times more energy than digesting fats and carbohydrates. This means that you burn more calories through a high protein diet. Research shows that people who eat more protein compared to people who eat little protein burn 260 more calories per day. To burn this number of calories it is necessary that you exercise for an hour every day. It is, therefore, possible to burn more calories by eating protein-rich foods. Are there any disadvantages? There are no known major disadvantages of this way of eating. It is important to mention that there must be a healthy balance. In addition to proteins, it is also necessary to get enough carbohydrates and fats. Your body needs the three different building materials to function properly. Make sure you get them all. How many proteins do I need to get? There are no known disadvantages of a protein-rich diet. It is important not to get too much in it. As a precaution, you can, therefore, maintain an upper limit. This means that no more than a quarter of your daily kilo of calories consists of proteins. 
How many proteins you need differs per person, this depends on your age and body weight, whether you exercise a lot, or don't exercise much. The level of sport also influences the number of proteins, strength athletes need to get more protein than people who exercise lightly. A healthy adult who does not exercise needs at least 0.8 grams of protein per kilo of body weight per day. Power athletes, on the other hand, need 1.8 to 2.0 grams of protein per kilo weight. Are you an endurance athlete? Then you need 1.2 to 1.4 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Are you a fanatic bodybuilder? Then you need 2.2 grams of protein per kilo weight. The advice for vegetarians is to get 20% more protein. Click on any of these videos to watch next. And be sure to subscribe and be notified for more updates. Because for us, your health do matter. Thank you for watching.